Hello, you guys, and welcome back to The Dose. Today, we're somewhere very special. As you can see, we're at a studio. And we're at a studio today because our special guest is not only a singer, a songwriter, an author, a mother, the list goes on, and I'm a personal fan of her from the show Love & Hip Hop New York. So you guys stay tuned, but first, let's check out the studio. What should be my name? I should be Robin B. That's it, just Robin B. All right, you guys, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, we have Amina. Yes. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm Look good. at you. Thank you so much. So I personally am a fan of your music, Thank your you. voice, especially when I heard it on the show, I was like, Really? I was like, she can blow. Yeah. Like, what's going on? I love that you say that because I always felt like they didn't show enough of that. That, like, that just, it was above and beyond everything Aww. else that happened on the show. Like, your voice, your talent. Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's always amazing. like that. That's actually a, one of the things that, of the good things that came out of it that people always remember me. Oh, she was so stupid, but she's so talented. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, literally. you race. <laughs> That's literally like one of the things, positive things that people have said about me since I've been on the show. So yeah, yeah. thank you. And so how's it going? Good, it's who I am. You know, I've always been just an artist all my life. Um, never done anything else, never wanted to do anything else. So music has always been my number one thing. Um, so since the show, I've been just really going back to focusing on that. Yeah. And besides being a mom now and my yeah. kids, so they take up most of my time but um, my music always is like the main focus so I've, I think I've released I've released three albums since then yes. three albums which is great because people like like I literally every year release a project whether it's an EP or an album or a single I think it's been an album every year um, or an EP since the show which is wow. four years ago now so um, yeah I'm proud of myself because I kind of just yeah. keep going no matter what yes you know, and people like um, are waiting for me to be on the radio and for me to, you know, have songs that chart and like all that stuff. But to me, really what matters is that I just am consistent with putting it out there. Yeah. And for me, just being able to share what I love um, is my, that's like my goal. So yeah. I'm already there, yeah. you know? Yeah. So no matter what happens from here, once I put out a, a project, I'm satisfied. I you did. Know? You know what? I did hear that song that was saying something like that. Yeah. It was saying, like, people are waiting for me to put something out. Are you out talking like, about that recent one? I was that like, this I just, is real. Mm -hmm. This is real. That's my brand new one that isn't yeah. out yet, but yeah. it will be out because I like. I don't like to sit on music that are you know right. I just like to put it out. Yes. And yeah, just for something to exist that will always be there no matter mm -hmm. what happens. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And yeah, I mean, I have it on my iTunes, so I don't yes. care about, I don't even listen to radio anymore. I don't Good. Know. Yeah, <laughs> people know? need, I, I have this, there, there's this big conversation going on right now between like with all these R&B artists, like Tank is talking about it. Like mm. I see all of these people talking about it that, you know, people are saying R&B is dead, but it's like, oh, yeah. it's really the people that can make it come back. Mm -hmm. But you know, and if you only listen to what the radio gives you, then yes. you may be missing out, but yes. you know, it is there. It's so there. It, it, it exists. It's there. Yeah. That's so true. Cause I have a good friend, Sammy, you know, the singer Sammy. Oh yeah, yeah. He's dope. Right. Like, like so, so many dope. out there that are, even if you're you know, indie, I know that so many more people would even enjoy my album yes. if they knew about it. Cause yes. you know, you don't understand on a daily, the amount of messages I get, when are you putting out an album? People just don't know, <laughs> they don't know. because I'm indie and I don't have the, you know, the reach on my own but um yeah i know that and you know people hopefully will catch on and like yeah. really dig when they when they love music when they find something they love yes. and really look at that artist and what they've done and what they've put out mm -hmm. in the past yeah yeah because it's about having like a cult following like having right. the people that right. actually love you because those are the people who are going to support exactly versus just everyone you know followers Definitely. and all these things that's yeah. awesome though yeah. so would you say the show like hurt or help the um, I always get that question and my answer is always <laughs> both. Okay. Um, definitely came with a lot of negative stuff that kind of put me back and like kind yeah. of even broke me down like on a personal level. But um, it also came with a lot of good mm. that I try to just focus on. I just try to focus on the good that came with it because there's so many things that 
um, I was able to do that I wouldn't have been able to do. Even just when you look at, just like my fan base definitely grew yes. from it. Okay. I have way more supporters, followers, and people that now, especially since I left the show, see me for who I really am and what I really do. And so I just try to focus on like staying authentic and, yeah. and giving people the real me, which is also one of my yes. songs that yes. <laughs> a lot of people always mention when they see me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely, it definitely came with both and I just try to focus on the positive. Yeah. But, yeah. I think it's more positive, to be honest, because like it's four years ago. Yeah, too. you know, some people argue that I ruined everything with it, which I don't agree with because I just believe that if you're, when you're good and when you, um, you know, create good stuff and quality music mm -hmm. and when you're really talented, mm -hmm. it actually in the end will, will shine through, yeah. you know, and people are going to, see that you know it, it doesn't matter where you come from it's about who you really are and i feel like now it may take longer it yeah. may be harder to yeah. like prove to some people but i'm not even about that i don't really want to prove to anyone i just um if you you know i feel like it, it'll shine through in the end who i really am and um that I come from the music and I'm not just a reality yeah. star that now wants to sing. No, I, I really know? think it has. It's yeah. over, like, you definitely, like, been an artist first. Exactly, You know, right. I mean, Thank every you. artist has a personal life, too. Mm -hmm. So that's all they got to see was that. Right, right. So, you know, it's beautiful. Right. And so you have two beautiful children. I do, my girls. They're right actually here. on set. <laughs> I love them, they're so cute. Nice. So how's that been, just motherhood? I just want to talk about motherhood okay, first. Like, sure. You know, the snapback, all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know, that was so easy for me. I'm, I got lucky, I have to say. I don't know. I, I mean, yeah. I also work hard on just, you know, my fitness and things like that. But um, motherhood has just, I feel like, made me so much better okay. of a woman. And all around, I, I'm more comfortable with who I am, who they've made me become. And and I just, like, I'm, I'm always, like, that was the best thing to have these kids, even though they weren't planned, even though it wasn't a kind of a messed up situation, you know, yeah. and their dad not being around and all that. I'm still so glad that I, you know, had both of them and so close together, too, because I love I their the bond. Yes. People that follow me always say how much they love, like, their, their bond and that, you know, they see them yeah. I'm just being the best of friends and just loving each other so much. So I, it reminds me of when I was younger, because I have two sisters. Um, Aren't you a twin as well? I'm right? a twin, awesome. and then I have a two-year older sister, which my girls are two years apart. Um, so go. it reminds me of like being younger and having sisters. Yes. it's just so yes. great. So yeah, it's just like they've just made me a happier person all over. And being a single mom, that's amazing. even though they made my life so much harder. I always say that they okay. made it harder, but they made me happier. So yeah. it's really a win. Like I would never want to change any of that. Um, but you know, there's days where I do complain, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I can't, like, I can't do this, I can't yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I really think about it and, like, look at what kind of joy they bring to my life, it's like, it's worth it. It's I don't even it. mind that That's I can't go you. out tonight. Or, yeah. In a little body, it's just amazing. Oh. I can't wait. Uh, yeah. Oh, you don't have to. No, that's what I'm asking you. I'm like, genuinely, like, how does it feel? I tell every woman, like, <laughs> have kids okay okay <laughs> kids. okay got it don't wait for the perfect time it will never be the perfect time true and yeah. you'll just learn as you go mm -hmm. and you will make it no matter what yeah. like you'll make it and so many women have like worries like how am i going to do this and i yeah. don't think like you know but those worries go away once the kids is, kid is here and like you just do like we just do you, just you know do. you just do it i love that <laughs> so then you guys all together have a book Ah uh, yes, so she's my an newest, author, you guys, as well. My newest book. My kids ah. are on the cover because it's, it, it, you know, it just had to be that way yes. because it's so much about motherhood and everything that I do. Um, so this is my dishes and more, which started out as a cookbook because I started a food page like two years ago on Instagram. Um, I had so many demands from women just wanting <laughs> to know what I eat, how I eat, like all the stuff that yeah. I would post on my story. Yeah. I would get questions every day, like how do you make this like because you know i'm from germany so yeah that's what i was raised. gonna ask is it like is there some is some things that okay. like like maybe weird to like mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the american people like because i i you know my mom when i was younger she would always improvise when she made food for us and i kind of took that from her <laughs> a lot of my dishes actually are just improvised they wow. should like improvised by me um, and made up like even now when I cook a lot of times I try something new and I you know I don't go by the book like yes. I just do what 
I feel flavor. May taste good and yeah. it always ends up yeah. being yummy. Oh my god. <laughs> so I have a lot of recipes that I made up and then some of them are from when I was younger from my mother, okay. who's German. Um, and then a few of them are also by my sister. She's a vegetarian because people always think that okay. I'm like vegan, but I'm not. I was gonna ask, like, is there any dietary restrictions here? None, because I don't have any. Okay. Honestly, I eat everything. And then look so at her, you guys. I eat everything. Um, I do like to, you know, I am health oriented. Yeah. And most of the stuff, I would say probably 80% is on the healthier side. But then 20% or like some of the recipes are like heavier yeah. and just very meat. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have meat in there. Yeah. Um, but in general, it's just like the majority of what I take in as far as like food is healthy. Okay. So and then you know every now and then I eat bad foods. Yeah. Um, and they're Cheat in there days, too, right? You know. Cheat days. And I actually um, there's one. Day, it's actually a 30 day guide, which means yeah, that there are 30 recipes for every day. Oh. And you literally follow what I do, and you eat what I eat. Um, throughout those 30 days so you can literally go and kind of wow. like day by day go through my book read um you know one day a day yeah <laughs> so after 30 days you'll be done with the book and um it's just like yeah the Ooh, food turkey chili yeah super yummy wow um and then it's literally just little tips and mm. regimens that i have that will just give you more energy and make you you know keep you motivated especially when you're stressed out as yes. a mom or just woman in general yes like we all get stressed out, life is hard. Yes, <laughs> so yes, yes. Um, it's just kind of how I balance everything and how I stay just, you know, with the positive attitude every day I wake up and like my little things that I do in the morning, like all little things that people ask me, yeah. what, do you, what do you do? Let's like talk about that. Okay, yeah, sure. I, isn't it like affirmations and do you meditate? Do you Meditation is big. I don't meditate probably in the way that people imagine meditation. Like everyone meditates in different ways and mine, are in the book um, okay. like little things like first of all my yoga is my main meditation mm. um, I talk about how I got into it I talk about like you know there's actually a, a yoga flow to follow um, nice. for the reader um, but I yeah um, yoga is one of my biggest form of meditation and then just simple things as being silent like being I, right uh, we take that know, for granted being <laughs> silent or just yeah, like listening or um, you know not looking at your phone but looking at like a tree or something yeah. like you know in the morning I don't touch my phone for the first hour when I wake up sometimes I meditate in my car when I drive I don't turn on any music I drive in silence and that's wow. my meditation too so a little you know things especially like that. in LA right oh, with yeah. all the crazy yeah I like now that my life is so loud because my kids make a lot of noise mm -hmm. at home I like I, enjoy, I appreciate I learned to appreciate like silence yes. so much and it gives you like it calms you down yeah and especially and then also like I have some breathing tips and like yeah. you know to when you really like focus on your breath, like it can, like it just, that's a part of yoga, but it has such a big effect on like your, just calmness, learning yeah. how to be calm um, yeah. in any situation. And I've always naturally kind of been a calm person, but you know, especially being on, on a show like Love and Hip Hop oh makes, you, makes you sometimes, you know, <laughs> yeah. it tests you, but uh -huh. um, I've, yeah, I've kind of like learned how by breathing to become you know go back that to piece. my and that's meditation yeah. like i think meditation sometimes sure. starts with that mm -hmm. that's amazing because i yes. okay i love yoga too yeah but i always think you have to like i need an instructor mm, mm -mm. do you do it just at home like mainly i do it actually i practice on my own i like both wow. and i talk about that too i like to um practice in a group because it's also energies mm -hmm. that you exchange True. with the other students and like um it's just a lot of times i've experienced that it it People think too much about having a good posture then. Ah, they're like, how do I look? Them, yeah, oh. they just themselves, especially when you're in a yoga studio and then there's people that are doing it so perfect yeah. and you're like, damn. But I, that's why I like to practice on my own. But then again, with the energies, like sometimes it's good to have other people around um, that are like trying to have that same like kind okay, of piece. So at times. So I do okay. both. I mix it up. Um, and that's another thing. I don't do yoga every day, but definitely multiple times a week and then the other times I like to do a heavy workout like where I really mm. get into the sweat and then other times I just like to do a hike or a walk or like you know it's all about yeah mixing, mixing it, it up, up. and I've learned that, that since yeah. after my kids because I used to always be active and I used to always do the same thing yes and I you know I kind of was fit for most of my adult years um, but 
I've never been in better shape than since I had kids, <laughs> which is like in reverse. You I don't know? get that. I yeah. really don't get and that. And it's because I don't worry as much about it and because I don't diet. I used to always stick True. to these, you know, have all these restrictions or oh, no sugar for like this mm. time. And it's always like a bounce, but it's always like it used to just have a, a, a bad effect on just my overall health. Yeah. I talk about when I was younger, a teenager. I had like eating disorders and things like that because oh, you know really? um, during puberty like I I was in, I grew up in Germany where everyone's like skinny and just yes. thin and okay. that's what was beautiful and so I was actually a chubbier teenager like now people know me it's just always the skinny one but as a <laughs> teenager like, Not always. I have a picture in there I don't oh. remember what page I would show you right now but it's like when I was like 14, mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, chubby teenager. <laughs> so I, I hate it, you know, myself. I talk about, uh, you know, learning how to love myself and accepting my flaws and all those things that women deal yeah. with. Um, how did you, how, yeah, like how, what made you just stop saying, you know what, I'm perfect the way I am? Oh, it took years and years yeah. and years and years and years. So basically my entire 20s, I think, because um, I was always trying to be like mm -hmm. someone, trying to be like, and. Literally, like, uh, until I was 30, um, I was never happy with, all, all the way happy with me and who I am. And yeah. it, it came, also, another thing that came with being a mom, like, oh, yeah, I can't so wait. <laughs> yeah, it took me so long to finally love myself. So now when people have, like, uh, criticized me or say things that I shouldn't be like this, or like, like, it's so, like, uh, I don't want to say it makes me mad because nothing really can get to me at yeah, this point. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I worked so hard on like just loving myself. So um, anyone, what especially is there not when it's, to love. Though? Oh I mean, man, no, you don't understand. I have still have my flaws, and we all have. Mm -hmm. We all do. But I just learned to like accept yes. them and hopefully one day even love them, love the flaws. Yes, yes, we all, yeah. I mean, that's a work in progress Nobody's for everyone, perfect. I think, seriously. Oh, yeah. And your skin's beautiful, I mean, Thank you. she's oh gorgeous. Gosh. What's the other book? I wanna see this Oh yeah, this one. is my first book that came out like yes. about four years ago, my um, memoir, I wanna say, yeah. The Other Woman, that talks about what most people have seen me on TV, The Love Triangle yes. that I was in. Um, and even before that, it just talks about my journey coming from Germany, being in the music business and you know being signed getting dropped and how i dealt with all the disappointments that came from you know not really succeeding right away right and just the ups and downs and that i went through with my sisters um and then it talks about me getting into the reality tv world and then being judged um because that was a big deal in my life just because i i never really knew what it was like to not be liked i yeah all my life everybody loved me yeah. everybody loved yeah, me yeah, and yeah. nobody ever had anything <laughs> negative to say and then it went completely opposite once I got on TV. And yeah. that was something that was very hard for me at the time. But actually, I ha I'm thankful for that experience now because now it made me just so much stronger and so much, yeah. you know, so much more confident just by remembering who I really am. Now that another, actually, I mentioned that song earlier, The Real Me. The Real Me. <laughs> the Real Me yes. is a big song that is actually out on iTunes that um, means a lot because. I had to always remember who I really am because people tell you who you are. Yeah. And they think they know who you are when you when you're on TV. <laughs> they think they know you. They think they know who you are and they constantly tell you who you are and you have to just remind yourself that they're, you know, they don't know you. Yeah. That's really true. <laughs> so, even though they did see a little part of my life that was real so cuz you know, it's a reality show, so yeah, most of say, what was shown real? Most of what was shown really happened. Mm -hmm. You know, they add their little editing mm -hmm. things that makes it look worse. But yeah. <laughs> most of what happened in my storyline actually happened. And you could tell by, you know, me becoming pregnant and all yeah. that. You can't fake that. So <laughs> I really was in a, in a bad triangle situation. But sometimes I looked at the TV screen and I would be like, it wasn't like that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the way they added it or someone makes a comment, it wasn't actually to me, but they made it look like it was for me. Things like that. Yeah. Um, but for the most part, it was real. But this book tells a story out of my perspective and just from where I was standing because I felt like a lot of stuff was left out. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of stuff was just, um, it kind of like just showed one side of me. Yeah. And I wanted to And this is that, your this truth. This is my everything. This is, your this is truth. all of me. Like, and there were moments where I was strong and where I felt strong and where I didn't just break down and cry. Everybody always saw me crying on TV. 
but there was so many moments where I did, you know, fight back or, yeah. you know, and you saw a, a stronger side of me that did, they just didn't show. They and didn't I just show wanted it. to, um, yeah, tell That's the story. awesome. Because, you know, sometimes with these reality shows, like, I think I saw, I don't know for sure, mm -hmm. but like on an interview that like the Kardashians get to help in the editing. Oh, really? I'm I like, wish. I would do it all well, day. They, they, I yeah. guess their show is almost pretty much, they, <laughs> they, yeah. They but they still let, you know, some things out there that's like, whoa. Oh my so. God. I was always disappointed when I saw the scenes <laughs> and then, you know, because you shoot literally for sometimes an hour and they show it, they make it into oh, two minutes. Oh my God. So yeah, imagine like you sit on a couch having a conversation with someone for an hour and it's then like you me see just posting two seconds of it. two minutes um yeah it's oh really crazy God. but yeah um this book ends um the time i moved away from the whole drama four years ago now um moved to california from new york yeah i was pregnant with my youngest and i just moved and left everything behind and that's where the book ends so yeah that's awesome that was is my there gonna be a sequel part. um well i don't know yet i have people have asked me that before but yeah. I, you know, writing books is something that just kind of happened because I would journal and just write for myself. Okay. And then the second one, this one I um, I went with a publishing company, 13th and Joan from Chicago. Mm -hmm. They helped me put this together. The second one I published myself and it was <gasps> such a struggle. I literally you almost went job. crazy. Are you serious? Um, it's actually right now only available on Amazon because yes. it was such a struggle for me. It's still like, I can't believe it. it's actually out because it was a long process. Um, my good friend Amina, her name is Amina too, wow. is a <laughs> photographer that did most of the pictures in yeah. here because it's a very visual book because I realized that when Instagram started, like um, just visuals mm. are so inspiring mm -hmm. to people just to look at a picture mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they feel different yep. or they feel like, wow, like, you know, they can do it too. Or they feel a positive feeling yes. that they want to, you know, have in their life. So I made it on purpose, made a lot of pictures. We had uh, about 11 shoots or more, no way. Um, plus the food that some of them I took myself. So, uh, you know, I, I'm proud of myself yeah, for this kind is of a, doing like, a lot. This is a lot. Yeah. And it has 200, 280 pages. So yeah, it's my. It, it was a long process, almost a year to. And I'm create. sure it can help people. That's the most important yeah, part. Yeah, that's it's the a goal. Inspire book. to inspire. Yeah. That's my goal nowadays, because yeah. you know that's why I even like I'm so active on my social media because mm -hmm. I just see how many women write me on a daily basis, like how I just help them and mm -hmm. just by sharing my life, yeah. and it's so easy. Like you know? <laughs> you're like, oh, that's what I had to yeah, do. Yeah, and just share my life and be real with it. Yeah. Because you know. I don't really like to post negative stuff like on social media, but in the book, I address the, the, the things that are hard that I struggle with yes. um, to let them know, like people to, to let the reader know that they're not alone. Like, you know, mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. I make it look easy. It looks easy on, on a gram, but right. there, you know, I struggle too. Everyone. Like, and I have my breakdowns and things like that. So yeah. Wow. I know people can really connect to this. I'm going to read this. Yes. Definitely. You can definitely keep that one. That's for you. Yeah. So we're going to put the information in the comment section cool. and then they'll be able to order it there. Sounds and good. so what's next for you? Like what's coming up? So next, so um, my recent project, my album After Dark um, uh -huh. just came out and I'm just going heavy on promoting that. Yeah. Um, my goal is for this year to do more shows, live shows with that. Um, also a few more book signings because I haven't done that enough. I didn't do a book tour with my dishes, but um, yeah. um, I just want to let everybody know, like, I'm still here, I'm yeah. still doing it. Um, so more shows promoting my new album. And then, again, dropping new music that I already wrote, the song that you mentioned yeah. earlier. <laughs> I already have, like, three new songs that I can't wait to drop. Oh so I just, gosh. you know, I kind of, like, have to time it right because I'm an independent artist, which makes it hard sometimes oh, to decide too. when do I, when is a good time yeah. to put this out. Or, like, yeah. I just always just want to drop music right. all the time. Um, so, yeah, just to continue making music, putting out music, perform more, um, and inspire. That's really it. Well, that's <laughs> amazing. What do you mean that's it? And be a mom. <laughs> yeah, and that? be a mom. Mom is that's a full-time full job. job. It is. Oh, my God. People don't understand. Yeah. Mom. It is. Yeah, but um, it's a lot, but I still love my life. It's another song of mine. Yeah. <laughs> love my life. Um, but, um, yeah, so just to keep doing what I do, basically, that's my goal and remain happy and become happier, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, keep going. You're inspiring everyone, so even much. me. I mean, that Thank is you. a lot, and it you is. become like a butterfly. For butterfly! Yes! That was, <laughs> From good. That was a good word. So. Oh, but I do want to find love again, too. Yes. <laughs> you know? People I just found it. It happens when you 
least yeah. expect it. Right? Yeah. I think, yeah, I need to not look. I, I'm not the type of person to really look for it anyway. Exactly. Like a lot of friends of mine are like on dating apps and stuff. I don't do nope, that. you don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that, okay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> well, but, thank you for yeah, coming. Thank you so much. This was great. I know. We had so much fun. Yeah, read and my book. Yes, that's what I'm going to go do tonight. My dishes and more. And make sure to check out my album, After Dark. I, it's gotten like a lot of good reviews and I just wish that more people would know of it because I know that it could be yes. so much big, bigger but um, they will they will there. soon 2020 yeah well thank you thank you it was amazing yes thanks so much okay you guys thank you for watching this episode of the dose with Amina butterfly but guys before you go make sure you're subscribed make sure you're commenting and make sure you're putting a thumbs up on every single one of these videos so I can make more like them. Okay? Love you guys. See you next time.